Hey, it's uh, Chris here today from Huckleman's Equipment. You know, we got a nice rainy morning here today, so we're gonna do a couple videos. Today's predictor video uh, is gonna be about front hitches. You'll see beside me is an M5 with a front hitch and an M6 with a front hitch and PTO. In today's video, we're gonna talk about what a front hitch is from Zuderberg that's available through Kubota Canada, as well as some of the applications you're gonna see them in. So let's jump right to it. Thank Kyle Dombrowski from Kubota Canada. He uh, kind of aided us in uh, being able to shoot this video and uh, giving us some tips and kind of some pointers of what to, to mention on them as uh, he's pretty knowledgeable on it compared to myself. So, but we'll give it a go here and uh, start talking about the, the front hitches themselves. So what is a front hitch? Um, again, you're gonna see them on some of the larger tractors starting at a 70, 60 and above. Usually you're gonna want it at uh, like an M5 uh, in around that 100 horsepower or bigger um, as it, they are expensive, there's no doubt about it, as most things are in today's world. But what is a front hitch and what options are available for it? Again, applications are unlimited, uh, multitude of different applications. You're gonna see them in your egg, uh, whether it's you know with the butterfly mowers or uh, commercially, whether it be in an orchard or commercial snow blowing, snow removal I should say, because you can get some pretty fancy front blades as well as uh, blowers for the front. After that, some of the features you're gonna see is you can either just go with the front hitch, which you're gonna see on that M5 there. Um, then after that, if you go with the optional front PTO, which again is on here, it's gonna be your 540. It's gonna spin clockwise. Uh, it's six spline. Either one is fully orderable from Kubota Canada. Again, you'll see that it's a Zuderberg front hitch, but it does come through Kubota Canada themselves. And then whenever you get into actual operation of it, it is fully compatible with not only your steering, you'll see that we have them completely turned here, no interference there, as well as with the loader. Again, you can still have that on there. It's not gonna interfere with your loader application. But whenever the front hitch is actually on your tractor, how it operates with that front PTO, a little bit different. Uh, you're gonna see an extra PTO switch in the cab. Um, again, we'll show that to you there. Very simplistic, very easy. It's button on off, and it's kind of an electric PTO switch there. So, uh, you'll see two diverter valves on the back for your rear remotes there. Uh, you'll see two of them there, which means you can't operate your hydraulics front and rear exclusively. Um, if you are going to look to do that, you're going to want to put a loader valve on the side uh, to give you some more hydraulics there so that you have you know, two sets running up front and two or three sets to the rear, uh, depending on your application, give you hydraulics everywhere with oil uh, running everywhere at one time. So, because without doing that, you only have, uh, you're limited to your rear sets remotes at that point. So, pretty easy system, worked fantastic. What we will be bringing to you in the future, um, whenever it actually snows out, is we're going to be putting a, a snowblower on the front of this M6 there, uh, really putting it through its paces. So, we'll bring it to you at that point. Um, and the M5 is available for retail if you look to purchase it with it on it. So, so yeah, so that uh, kind of gives you a very quick overview of what a front hitch is, as well as how it operates. And if you did enjoy today's video, please like and subscribe. And if you have any any comments please in down below thank you how long was that